What up you guys, it's Genius Reacts here and welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time here, then it's just welcome. Today we're gonna to be getting into Bad Boys Texas episode 10. However, before we get into that, please do me a big favor. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? The episode starts off with the aftermath of Rasby and Jonathan. Rasby's face is completely swollen and leaking. Do I feel bad for him? No, because he had a knife and that's completely lame. And I feel like security should have sent him home and sent him packing as soon as they seen that knife. They continue the studio session and Rasby is outside blaming security. Carrion go outside and Rasby is so shocked and he's screaming at Carrion saying he doesn't understand how he just got hit and like how they just let that happen, how Carrion let that happen. And Carrion just like, bro, like, you're just too lit right now, and you just need to relax. Like, go ahead, leave, and just get yourself together. So then a car comes to pick him up, and he tells the driver, like, make sure he's drinking nothing but water. So then Rasby leaves the studio. Back in the studio, they're finishing up the song, and while they're enjoying the song and enjoying each other's company and vibing and whatever, Jonathan is still feeling some type of way over Rasby and wants to leave as a result. Chef D walks John out, and Chef D tells him that Jonathan left. As far as the song goes, I'm not mad at the song. I'm just going to say I like the beat more. The lyrics are bleh. It's not all that, but I like the beat. The beat is definitely a vibe, and I can get with it. So they're so hyped up off the song, and they finally finish it, that they want to perform it at the club that night. In the next scene, they're on the bus on their way to the club, and they arrive at the club. Rasby gets on the bus, but of course he isn't welcomed with open arms because he just pulled a knife out on everybody. So everyone's going off on him and security hurry up and gets him off the bus. They finally head into the club and they're partying in their section and they see that Rasby is in the section as well. Prince, Bo City, and Chef D are annoyed that he's in the section, but they're just going to let it go. However, I guess all that changed for Mo City as soon as he seen Jonathan come into their section. It was real weird, and I'm going to explain to y'all why. Because they're all partying. Rasby is talking to Mo City once <laughs> they're near each other. And he's just like, you know, I ain't got no beef with you. I ain't got no issue with you. I won't go hurt you, da-da-da-da-da. And Mo City's talking back like everything is cool. But as soon as Jonathan shows up to the section, he arrives in the section. He's hype. He's lit. He in a good mood. He's drinking, sweating bullets. And Rasby sticks his hand out to shake Jonathan's hand. Jonathan ignores him and continues to party and dance away and walk away from him. So Rasby was like, okay, he said, I feel like that's a sucker move, but I'm going to let it go. So Jonathan is still dancing, but he says he has a flashback to Raz pulling a knife out on him. <laughs> so Orlando is standing in between Raz and Jonathan in their section, and he's texting his wife. Jonathan taps Orlando on the chest set back up real quick. So Orlando's still looking at his song. He backs up because, you know, Jonathan nudges him out the way. And as soon as he backs up, Jonathan punches Rasby in the face again. And, <laughs> and I was just like, I saw that coming. Like, he's vibing. He keeps looking over at Rasby. And now he's just going to tell Orlando to back up a little bit. Like, Raz, you should have seen it coming. And also, you pulled a knife out on him. So, like... It's always going to be up when y'all see each other. So he punches Raz, and Raz is trying to get to him. Security is trying to break it up, of course. And out of nowhere, since Mo City still feels some type of way, even though he was just talking to Raz B, Mo City comes out of nowhere and starts sneaking and swinging on Raz B. And he's like on a lower level than Raz B, so his hits don't really connect. And Raz B is just looking at him like, what? Like, we were just laughing and talking. You and my homie, like, what are you doing? So he was like, okay, he laughed that off. So security pretty much kicks all of them out of the club. They were like, y'all are doing too much. So Zeus Network pretty much got kicked out of the club. They're outside, and Raz and Jonathan are seen about to square up again outside, but it gets broken up. Nothing's going to happen. Raz is upset, and he's continuing to fight with security, and then he decides to just leave the tour at that point. At least he claims he's going to leave the tour. It wasn't really much that went down this episode. However, as far as y'all just letting Raz B stay in the house and continue this quote-unquote tour with y'all when he just put a knife on one of the cast members, that's not okay. The next episode, Raz and Jonathan are nowhere to be found. Rel comes back. Shefty gives Rel the rundown on what happened with Raz and Jonathan. 
they head to their last city and they also throw a birthday party for Jonathan and then Rasby shows up to the house. But honestly, I don't feel bad for Rasby this entire episode because he was doing the most. I don't know if he's on that booger sugar, but he's doing the absolute most. I know he has a lot of trauma and a lot of mental health issues, but sometimes you just gotta know when to stop and when to get yourself together. Like It seemed like Jonathan had to keep knocking sense into him each time he got too close to Jonathan. So it's really unfortunate. That was my review on this episode. Thank you so much for checking out Jeans Reacts. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up what I'm doing on this channel. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.